Circle of the Tiger is an American Kempo form directly from Nick Sirio's Kempo. This is our interpretation as we do it at Excel. And you'll notice, just like other Chinese martial arts, there is a lot that's based on animal movements. In Circle of the Tiger, you're going to notice certain positions with clawing positions in the way that a tiger might move, the way the paw moves into position. And that is the theme throughout the entire form. I have another video where I've done the entire form. You can refer to that if you just want to see the form. This one specifically is breaking down what it is that we're doing and why. We start off with a traditional Chinese bow. A short version of this is just hand over fist and then you would normally step out. In this case, we're going to come all the way up to our hips, up and across to the shoulder, extending forward, drawing back. Then the left foot is going to circle, the right foot follows, and both hands come up to clear. Our opening position goes at a 45 degree angle, so I'm going to look to the side, carry forward, and I shift it forward into that position, allowing my left leg to then come up. I make my kick with my left, landing forward with the reverse punch, making this hand come up to parry or cover my face, as opposed to traditional chambering from here. So the hand is up and across. Pretty common in a lot of our Kempo techniques. I'm then going to draw my right foot in, circle out. These could be straight hands, or if you want to make them more claw-like for effect, that's your choice. I kick with the front foot. I'm going to step forward and punch just like before. And then both hands are going to draw in, double strike at 45, shuffle, and then you make the double claw. That covers the opening part. When you get from here, and I'll do this on both sides here, we're going to be turning towards the back. Once you've made this strike, we're going to pivot around, and the right foot is going to move, and my arms are going to extend forward with both hands coming up. Left hand draws down as the right hand recovers back. Then the left hand comes in as I make that punch. My right hand is going to drop, left hand comes up to cover, rising kick, then the whole body comes up and out into this forearm or upward block position followed by this low strike. From here, there's one, and then two to the other side. I'm going to show that in reverse position. So had I just made that double claw position, my right foot is going to move, both hands extend up, I draw back with the, my right hand to my side, left hand covers down, this hand circles as I pull. My hands come down to cover, rising kick, rising block position. Then from there I pivot, and again, rising block to the other side. One thing to note, in Japanese karate we have this augmented or supporting technique called an augmented forearm block. In almost every instance of Kempo where we've seen similarities, it's almost always done in this style as to this. Personally, I think this is a better technique. Now, from that last position, I just made this first strike. From here, we're going to grab from position and then go to a sweep. This here grabs, I sweep to the floor, step back, striking down with both palms or paws in that case if you were thinking more tiger-like, step up and then strike in with the foot. That's a subtle kick, but why not add it in there anyway? Hands are pulled back. I'm then stepping back into that double block position, drawing in with a shudo. This hand is then extending back and drawing back. Now I'm shuffling with my left to right. My right comes out as I clear to strike. So watching that again, as I learned this initially, we talked about blocking, striking, possibly raking to the eyes and grabbing from there. Seems more realistic to interpret that as some, some type of throw where I'm grabbing underneath the shoulder. So interpret it how you want, but interpret it either way. Strike, strike, shuffle back, extend, hand comes back. From there we kick again. This strike is at a 45. I am not sure why that is. Could have been a misinterpretation somewhere, but that second time we do this sequence, this one is out at a twisted position followed by one that's straight ahead to the front. I then bring my hands back, circle with both hands blocking to a 45, and kick to the right to clear. Often I refer to this as blocking something if somebody was kicking around. We normally don't block a kick with our arms, but for application purposes and understanding, if somebody did do a nice big roundhouse from here, if I double blocked here and kicked out their leg that they were standing on, I think I'd be able to stop them and break their structure. So once you've made the block, make the kick, and then clear. Now it looks like you're done, but there's a 
little coda at the end of this form, meaning that you go a little bit further. We're going to start from that position and then grabbing to the side. This could be somebody grabbing onto a ponytail or a bunch of hair. If somebody had a top knot, traditional, uh, then I would be grabbing from here, popping up and striking into the elbow. I kick to the side of the leg, then this foot steps back. I'm holding on to the person's head, shift with the body to make that shooto strike into the neck. Grab, drive in the knee, stepping back, then driving forward, double strike with the double shooto, return back, clear, my hands pull to the right side, uh, both sides, then I come across to the right, shoulder height, extend, drop, and then circle it around. That is Circle of the Tiger. Please take a chance to learn the form, work on that. If you have an interest in filming that, sending it to me, I'll gladly provide feedback. Circle of the Tiger.